Diane in Denmark here. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Uh, it is Monday morning and you know me, I love Monday mornings, especially Monday mornings like this in Copenhagen where it's wonderful, wonderful sunshine. Uh, I've already been down for my uh, skinny dip uh, with Vibika this morning. Uh, and uh, for those of you who saw my video about the clothes swap haul, this is my clothes swap top that I was showing you the other day. Uh, and this is the the uh, bag that Vibika had taken from the swap, wasn't sure about. It's a chocolate brown, she's handed on to me. And actually it's a really good size for my swimming bag. And for those of you who have been asking, um, you, you've maybe seen the pictures of us uh, down having our skinny dip uh, on Instagram. You know, I post on Instagram. And you've been interested in how we transport our china cups. They, these are bone china cups that belong to Vibika's mum. Uh, Vibika's mum sadly passed away last year. And she, Vibika had a few cups from her mum that didn't kind of match any other set, you know, that went to the family. And, and we use them when we're drinking our tea. So I've got one, uh, Helena's got one, and Vibika's got one. And what we do is we transport them in just, um, this is an IKEA plastic tub. And then when we're down there, we take it in turns to bring a thermos of uh, hot tea. And we enjoy it in our little china cups. So there we go, that, that's how we transport them. Uh, and this morning we had a very early swim, we were up early uh, and actually uh, quite often we, we have breakfast there. So we're just kind of out the door. I, I had uh, done my morning routine, I'm dressed to shoes, hung up the laundry to dry. It's, it's behind you. I'm not, not going to show you our, our laundry. It's clean but <laughs> I'm not going to show you uh, our laundry. Uh, and um, I had this morning I had scrambled eggs with sriracha sauce. Uh, and Vibika, what did she have this morning? Well, she had uh, a piece of rye bread uh, with banana on the top. That's quite a common thing to do here in Denmark. And then we had some watermelon. So anyway, I'll, I'll put pictures later on Instagram. But to check in with you today, I want to check in you two things. Uh, Monday morning for me means new fly lady zone. This week we're in Andetra Catlet zone four, which is the master bedroom. And I've told you also that I've been using the fly lady zones to keep me on track with uh, with the garden, with with yard work. Now, I, I added some notes to my control journal. Let me just get to zone four. Okay, th this is the zone four for the master bedroom. And, and if we've got time, I'll, I'll take you up there and explain what I'm doing in the zone this week. Uh, I can't film too much at the moment because um, the, the kids are home and you know, I, I never show my family or, or uh, you know, I like to give them privacy. Uh, but I'll, I'll see if I can do a couple of minutes uh, at the end of this video. Anyway, um, for zone four for the garden, uh, I had looked at it like zone four for me means bedroom, bed. So my focus for this week is um, on the flower beds and on the edges of the lawn, things like that. Um, my husband, he's good at doing the weeding of the flower beds. I'm not so much into that and I, I prefer kind of like the, the big tools and stuff. So what my job is, I uh, edge the lawn uh, with my trimmer thing and also the flower beds, what I like to do is anything that's hanging over, I just trim it right back and sweep the, the paths. For me that means it looks nice and neat and tidy. And I, I don't get into the nitty gritty of it, I just use the machine. Uh, and also for things like the paths, um, we don't use um, weed killer. Uh, in, in Denmark, that's it's really not a, a thing that's easy to get hold of because it's bad for the environment, bad for the water table. Uh, so the Danes usually weed by hand or they will use like a, a weed burner. And, and listen, you don't need to incinerate the weeds with your weed burner. Uh, I use it on the path. Don't, don't go using it close to any kind of you know, anything that's made of wood, you don't want to be setting the place on fire. But you just quickly pass over it uh, and after a couple of days the, the, uh, the weeds will die off. So, so that's the way I do uh, zone four for the garden. And you may also have noticed, I made a video, was it about 10 days ago when I was sitting here and I told you that the tree surgeon had been to look at our two apple trees. Now this apple tree here, I don't know how much you can see, uh, the, the one behind me there, that's cooking apples and that one is eating apples. And the tree surgeon took down all the branches and you saw behind me, it was like a disaster zone. We had these branches everywhere. Anyway, um, my, my hubby and uh, the kids, they've done a sterling job. I helped a wee bit, but not so much because I've been doing painting and stuff in the garden. 
but they have um, kind of chopped down, reduced it all to small, uh, small twigs and branches. And we got those bagged up and also in the refuse bins that we have. Uh, because we have a, in our council we have a special refuse collection. Every, every fortnight, every second week, they come and empty the garden refuse and then the next week they take away uh, recycling, uh, bottles, cans uh, and anything like uh, electronics, uh, metal, stuff like that. So, so we have a pickup every Friday and one week it will be garden refuse, the other week it will be the recycling. So as you can see uh, all, all the branches are gone. I'm, I'm really pleased uh, with it. They've done a really good job, uh, the kids and hubby. And We've now been able to get Lonnie the uh, lawnmower out running again. And let me see, I'll just get him started. Right. Oh, hold on, he's just going behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's Lonnie the lawnmower. And, and a lot of you uh, ask questions because I, I mentioned that we had this uh, electronic uh, robot lawnmower. Hold on, can you see me? Yeah, uh, he'll be coming back in a wee bit. Um, it, it, we find the electronic uh, robot is really good for mowing the lawn. It, it does, uh, I mean you can set it to any kind of cut that you want, but it cuts very finely so you don't need to remove the cuttings uh, and also it will go out even if it's raining, just light rain. It doesn't go out in really heavy rain but it's got a rain sensor so it knows uh, when it can go out. So you, you've not got that thing of, you know, if you're thinking, oh, can't mow, mow the grass because it's been raining for three days solid. Uh, it's not a problem with the uh, with the robot, um, and also it doesn't use uh, petrol or anything like that. So it just runs on uh, a little bit of electricity. <clears throat> and uh, the best thing for me, because I, I have asthma, is that in the summer uh, I'm quite affected by the, the pollen. So it was a, it was a, a big uh, job, uh, and also the, the kids they've got allergies as well as does my husband. So it, it's really made it a lot easier for us with the uh, robot lawnmower and they're not expensive um, these days you can get a decent robot lawnmower for about three or four thousand uh, Danish krona now you'll need to do that in your currency but it's about like the, the price of a standard uh, push uh, lawnmower so anyway you, you can you can look at that uh, anyway <clears throat> the second thing I wanted to check in with you today because it's Monday and a little quick check in is um, zone four the bedroom. Now I made a video about that, was it last, was it last Monday? Uh, oh no, hold on, uh, uh, gosh, the, the, the time runs away. It, it, feel, it feels like just yesterday we were uh, doing some cleaning in zone for the bedroom and I was also doing some uh, decluttering and I did a declutter of sportswear. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I did. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to take you back up. But hold on, I'll just give you another wee look at, um, another wee look at Lonnie. Here he comes. Here we are. I think he's just finding out where he should be uh, mowing. But anyway, let, let's go up to the bedroom and I'll give you a quick check in of what I'm going to be doing in zone four this week. Okay, just hold on. Right, here we are in the zone. Let me just take off my jacket because it is hot today. Uh, and oh, you'll see, I've got on the back of my door, that's where I hang up my outfit for the next day. Another thing I wanted to mention to you was when we are... In, if, you may be going into winter now in the uh, southern hemisphere, but, but for us in northern hemisphere, it's uh, maybe going into summer time, into school vacation time, holiday time. Don't, don't let those uh, routines go because quite often we think, oh, well, you know, we can, you know, take it a bit easier and uh, we, we don't need to get up so early. But you, you'll find that after a couple of weeks, you really kind of, uh, you kind of lose that control again. It's not a great feeling. And then, you know, you're, you're feeling like, oh, well, you know, I should be chilled and relaxed because it's the holidays. But then you're, you're feeling overwhelmed again because because you're not getting up at your normal time or and you don't need to be getting up so early, but you don't have so many hours in the day. And well, no, and if you're not getting up till 8.30 in the morning when you normally get up at 6.30 in the morning, of course you're gonna have less time. So I, I, I like to give myself a couple of weeks, you know, when, when the kids are, are at home and then we just get really back into our routines. And I always uh, look at my outfit the night before uh, so, so that we're just getting off to that good start the next day. Um, and you can see I've got my, 
Uh, and I'm now, because it's summer here in Denmark, I've uh, switched over to my lighter uh, dressing gown. And then this is one that came from a charity shop in uh, Sweden. I'm not sure if I showed you this one. It was from one of the charity shops where you have these big bins and you just have to kind of dive in and you can fill up a bag for 50 Swedish uh, crowns and Vibeke and I, I don't know how many items we got, I think we got like about 14 or 15 items and this is one of this really nice uh, cotton T1 and Dressing Your Truth uh, um, dressing gown, so, so that's what we're in the moment. So what I was going to tell you is that last time, uh, I don't know if you remember when, we're, when we were cleaning this room last time, I did a declutter and I just wanted to show you something, come over here, yeah I, I decluttered uh, my sports stuff. Now I, I just wanted to show you that just by you know like you, even if you can spend 10 or 15 minutes in in whatever the weak zone is doing a declutter, once you've decluttered that area it makes it really easy to, to keep it. That This is what it's looked like uh, since, since last time and it's easy for me to put stuff away. Uh, you know, I've got the KonMari thing going on with uh, things that are, are folded. And so that, I, I just want you to know that if you're feeling overwhelmed at the beginning of, uh, you know, if, you, if you're just getting to Fly Lady, know that just by doing one session this week, uh, you know, you'll be able to get one drawer, you know, or one shelf done. And then the next month you'll come back and you'll maybe do uh, you know another shelf or another drawer, and once you've done it, it's really easy to to keep keep up with things. I mean, you saw I, I got some new um, running tights at the close spot party. These fit right in. So, and then if I'm bringing in too much stuff, I can say, oh, you know, there's too much going in here. Something has to come out. Uh, so that, that might also be a good way for you to do it. If, if you're the, the type that keeps on wanting to stuff more and more things in, if you've got too much in the drawer and you can't close the drawer, chances are you've got too much stuff in there, not stuff that you need. You don't need more baskets or you don't need another dresser. You, you need to have a wee declutter and, and take stuff out. And on that note, I just want to tell you what I'm going to be decluttering this week. Let, let's go up again. Now, what I've chosen to declutter this week, and I'll probably do it today, is some items uh, from the wardrobe. Now, last time I did sports gear, another time I'll do, uh, you know, nightwear or could be uh, underwear or my jewellery. You'd, you'd see me decluttering. Uh, when I hang things in my closet, in the wardrobe, as we call it in, in Europe, I hang things um, facing that way. Now, I'm, I hope you can see, okay? So when it goes in, I'm kind of doing it with the, this part open towards me. When I've worn an item and washed it, you know, and ironed it, and it goes back in, I put it that way. So it's going over a different way. Do you see that? This one is open and this one is closed. That way, when I open my wardrobe and I'm looking as part of my morning routine, I look at my, my outfit for tomorrow. When I'm putting away the day's laundry, I, I, I put stuff away and I take out my, my outfit for the next day and hang on the back of the door. You, you've seen that on Instagram. I can see the items that I haven't worn. And today I'm going to look through the items that I haven't worn. But let, let's take a, a couple of examples. Right, the, these are ones which I've uh, worn recently. You, you've seen me wearing these. <laughs> Love my stripes. Now this is a pink uh, candy cane stripe uh, shirt and I haven't worn that uh, actually since last summer. Now I have this one which I really like so actually this this one is going to be going to the next close swap party that we have so that one I can immediately say to myself that's going to go. Uh, this one I haven't worn since last year and I got a lighter one let me just grab it um, to show you. Yeah, th this one came from a clothes swap, uh, two previous cl clothes swaps back. Uh, do you remember it had um, a little stain on the front and I managed to get the stain out? I really like uh, this one because it's, it's a more um, crisp feeling and it's actually a sl slightly lighter blue, which is good for my eyes. So but I don't need two of these. So I'm going to let this one go to uh, the clothes swap next time. Now this one is actually, I, I really like this um, this top. 
I haven't worn it since last year, but I'm, I'm probably going to wear it later this week. So that I'm going to hold on to. Uh, this is a really, uh, I really feel like I'm on kind of like Hawaii or uh, in Florida on vacation with this one. It's one that I use a lot when it's really, really hot and sunny here or if I'm on holiday in Greece or down in the Mediterranean. So this one I'm going to keep. So even though it, it's been in the wardrobe, hasn't been used yet, I've got plans for using it and I can see me using it again. Might, might wear it this week if the weather holds. Uh, with the, again, just with my um, winter white skinny um, trousers or uh, my white uh, my, my white skinny jeans. Right, this one is a top that Vibica um, passed on to me. I can't remember where she got it. She probably got it at a flea market. Uh, Vibica shops a lot at flea markets, and I've had it hanging in the wardrobe. But there's just, I think it's because of the V, it's not quite neat. And the colours are nice, but it's a bit too, it's a bit too flowery. Um, so that, I think that one, I, I've had it for a while and, and I'm, I'm just not feeling it. So that's going to go to the clothes swap. There we go. I'm, I'm already, I'm doing my decluttering right here, right now. I don't need to do it later today. Um, and again, this is, uh, you know, I like my stripes. This is one that I got from the clothes swap, I think last year, but I do have other stripy tops. Uh, and this one is a bit wishy-washy uh, with the fabric, but I've got these two, which you've seen me wearing recently, uh, and which I'll get a lot more wear of. So and I don't need, okay, I need about 15 stri striped tops, but I don't need 16. So, so this one also is gonna to go to the clothes swap. And this one is another one, again, that Vibica passed on to me. I'm really not sure about it. I, I quite like the waffle um, fabric and it's got a chocolate brown um, piping on it uh, and it's got a zip up the back. I'm not sure about that, but I think I, I might try that on today, see how I feel. Um, and if, if I think I might hang on to that maybe for let, let's see another month and if I haven't worn it by next month then out it goes um, so just you know take take five minutes look at what you've got you in your room the last time um, I made a video about cleaning here remember if you if you want me to clean along with you you know one of the cleaner clean with me uh, YouTube video things I've got a whole playlist and you saw me last time going through the contents of uh, my roll away bits a cabinet I was cleaning in here um, I'm, I'm going to spend 15 minutes cleaning here today, but it'll be the usual thing. I'll do the ceilings with my feather duster and a stick. Then I will do the skirting boards or the baseboards, whatever. And I prefer to call them skirting boards. I'll do the flat surfaces. Uh, oh, and here, just look at my um, my uh, my son, my dear son, 19. He came up with a cup of coffee for me because he's always filming. He's a, such a sweetie. Um, this one that I got at the close swap party, I've tried it for a couple of days. I'm not really enjoying it. I'll give it one more try and otherwise that goes back to the to close swap party. Uh, I'll, I'll dust off the uh, flat surfaces and I'll give this room a really good uh, vacuum. And basically that is it. I mean, it, if you're being consistent with the fly lady system, there's really not that much to do if, you're, if you just stay consistent with it. Um, and you can, you know, you can print off the detail cleaning lists. If you're new to Fly Lady, don't go into the detail clean. I've said this before. Uh, if you've signed up for the Fly Lady emails, um, you know, you'll, you'll get, uh, you know, suggestions on, you know, your mission for the day. Uh, don't, you don't need to be doing five missions a week. Just pick one and get started. Uh, and otherwise, I just like to take... I showed you this before. Uh, I take the detail cleaning list and I like to keep it kind of fresh and new and interesting. I'm a type one in the dressing your truth system and slavishly following a list that is not me. So I like to pick and choose uh, and I've got things like uh, washing my fluffy slippers which are underneath the bed. Um, you know you may want to wash if you've got any kind of throw pillows in here, uh, wash the covers for those, dust off the lampshade, um, you know, straighten up uh, a drawer or shelf. J just pick something and do it. Don't worry about the hows, the whys. Set your timer. <laughs> Remember, set your timer here. 
10 or 15 minutes and get it done. That, that's all we're doing. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to get um, these things put in my bag for going to the next clothes swap party. And I'm going to do 10 or 15 minutes in here and that is me done probably for the week. Um, I mean, I'm being honest here. I, I, how much is, is left to clean uh, in this area? So anyway, uh, on that note, I shall probably be checking with you only Monday, Wednesday and Friday because I did say I was onto my summer schedule. Uh, and if anything else pops up, I'll let you know. And I haven't forgotten about uh, posting a, a video about the Northside Musical Festival. I've just been trying to put things together and uh, we, we, we've had a, a busy weekend. So anyway, I'll, I'll get around to it when I can. Anyway, on that note, I hope you have a fantastic day. Hope the sun is shining where you are. If not, make your own sunshine. That's what we always say. Um, and I shall see you on, uh, I'll see you on Instagram if I don't see you on, on YouTube tomorrow. Okay, bye for now. Oh, I forgot to say, live long and prosper. May the Danish uh, sunshine be with you and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.